promised. Tonight's campaign comment, and we begin with Lincoln's motto about how you can fool some of the people all the time and all the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Lincoln never said that, and that tells you everything you need to know about fooling all the people all the time, which brings us to Mr. Joseph Wurzelbacher. Joe the plumber, again, the to his friends. Official mascot for Team McCain, playing the role of the average American working man, and in fact, about as much like the average American working man as I am. The average American working man is not trying to land a book deal right now. He's not contemplating a run for Congress. He has not just hired a publicist, and he did not just form a partnership in hopes of getting himself a country music album. I don't even have a publicist. <laughs> More on publicists and country albums and book deals and Congress presently. First, there he was in Dayton, Ohio again today, a quote, surprise, unquote, guest at a Sarah Palin rally, trotted out by the Republicans like a two-headed heifer at the county fair for everybody to gawk at, even though he could be a poster boy for how Obama's tax plan will actually help people like him, even though the question he asked Obama was about a business he wasn't trying to buy, that he claimed he was trying to buy, that does $250,000 a year in business even though it don't. In short, in public, this guy is lying about 97% of the time. And at his now daily McCain campaign appearances, people have begun to ask him policy questions. I just want to make that one comment. A vote for Obama is a vote for the death to Israel. I'll guarantee you that. Well, you know what? Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and agree with you on that one. Uh, you know, it... Uh no, I agree with you. I really think that would be a problem. And you also got to... I just want to shake your hands. So. Oh, hey. The other you know, thing is, uh, you know, the left, you know, they always talk about how uh, the left's out there more vocal than we are. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons why is uh, us middle class workers are out there working to support them so they can go out and be more vocal. <laughs> so. Ooh, good answer. So the guy who doesn't know what the hell he's talking about on the stage is in full agreement with the guy who doesn't know what the hell he's talking about in the audience. Mr. Wurzelbacher, I mean, honest to God, what are you doing? Reinforcing racism and prejudice, spreading rumors and half understood buzzwords. You get a little worried when you announce, if you look at the spreading the wealth, that's honestly right out of Karl Marx's mouth. Do you worry when some guy regurgitates a paranoid email in which he read, as he put it, about Obama's associations and concludes it means death to Israel, and you find yourself saying the words, I'll go ahead and agree with you on that one, like you're on the freaking Hollywood squares? Does it worry you that you got called out on that by an anchor on Fox News? Barack Obama has said repeatedly, time after time, that there is nothing more important than the United States' friendship with Israel, and that the United States will back up Israel every moment of every day if and when he becomes president of the United States. He could not have been clearer about it in his positions and in his speeches. And I just wonder what it is that makes you think that he's lying about that. Oh, just what I've got to back. I mean, you know, actions. You know, I've heard words, and I hear words from politicians all the time. You know, but actions kind of give you an like idea. What and help you I just, I'm just trying to figure it actions, out. What actions? Well, well, the actions that I see is, you know, offering to meet with certain, uh, you know, enemies of the United States on no uncertain terms. And, uh, Meeting actually with Amadenajah. Saying you're going to meet with somebody isn't actions, Mr. Wurzelbacher. It's words. You don't know what you're talking about. Get off the stage. If not out of that glimmer of respect you seem to have for the American political season uh, system, then, then do it for this reason. You may be endangering your country music record deal. While you're making a fool of yourself out there shilling for John McCain, William Hung could be taking that record deal out of your pocket. You think I'm kidding about this? Yesterday, country music artist and producer Aaron Tippin formed a partnership with Joe Wurzelbacher and two others to try to get him a recording contract and concert dates. Joe is, quote, a complicated guy with a very dynamic personality. He can sing and obviously has a strong political point of view, says his publicist. His publicist! We are excited to announce the addition of Joe the Plumber Wurzelbacher to the press office roster for exclusive public relations representation. He now shares billing there with uh, their other clients, Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin brothers, John Sebastian, and the enigmatic Leon Redbone, Yodeling Zeke, <laughs> Butterball Jackson, Redaboy and Yuma, Cloris Moselle. I'm sorry, those, those last four are from an episode of The Simpsons. 
Anyway, recording contract publicist, and last week he hired a lawyer who contacted several of the top talent agencies about trying to get him a book deal. And he went on Laura Ingram's radio show last Friday and said he was considering running for Congress from Ohio. Look, we, McCain's campaign, his supporters, Obama's supporters, the media, the American people as a whole, we are being conned by this guy. He's this far away from being on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> and yet there's actually something he said with which I agree. Quote, I'm honestly scared for America. He says he's honestly scared for America by Obama. Or maybe he's trying out lyrics for a new song. I'm honestly scared about America by him. I would much rather put my faith in another honest-to-goodness average American, a figure with greater depth and greater authenticity even than Joe the Plumber himself. In fact, I will make this deal right now with John McCain for the last six days of this campaign. He loses Joe. He takes this guy instead, and I'll just shut up. <laughs> Brawny man from the Brawny Towel Packages. I mean... If we're going to test out that which Lincoln never said, you can fool some of the people all the time and all the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Let's really test it. Let's count down for this the 2009th day since the declaration of mission accomplished in Iraq. Up next, David Schuster with live coverage of the Obama Bill Clinton rally, their first joint campaign event live from Florida. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night. Thank you.